Well, hey there. The beginning of these live videos is always fun because I'm talking to myself. I want to talk with you guys about an upcoming program that we're doing, how you can become part of it. I'll probably move back in and out a little bit so I can check some comments. We'll leave this up here uh, for maybe a couple of weeks because the program doesn't start until the end of this week. But if you saw the title, we've got an upcoming free workshop that is designed for instructors or people interested in becoming an instructor. I want to talk about that a little bit, about what it is, about why we're doing it, about what you'll get in that workshop. No, it doesn't cost any money. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about who probably shouldn't attend and maybe who it's not fit for. So first off, how's my audio? We've got about a 15 to 30 second delay here on the live feed. Somebody give me a thumbs up. Is my audio coming in? Good. Please give me a thumbs up. Enrique, how do I sound? Good, good, good. All right. Hey, Tom. Good. Working on a different wireless mic than we normally use. So why would we do uh, these free workshops for you? First of all, uh, to be part of these free workshops, you need to go to carrytrainer.com. On the banner of the homepage is a, uh, a link. It's a red banner that says instructor development workshops. You click on it. It'll ask you for a little bit of information and we'll send you the information to sign up. It's on the, there's three of them. They're not the same. There are three different ones. The 8th of October, the 13th of October, and I believe the 16th of October. Uh, they will all be uh, in that email. That information will all be there for you. And you'll need to join our Facebook page, which is a private group where we talk about all things that you should be studying, learning, reading about, thinking about if you are an instructor or a teacher or an educator in really any field, because we don't just talk about the shooting sports or combatives. Because in reality, if you're teaching medicine, if you're teaching reading, if you're teaching uh, how to lay brick, or if you're teaching firearms or combatives, the same components to be good at that exist. So that being said, why are we doing this? Well, a lot of reasons, but one of the main ones is I can't do it all. Neither can you, neither can my friends. There are millions of gun owners in America. And culturally, culturally, we've had a big change in our society where 50, 100, 150 years ago, uh, things like the study of weapons, the study of that martial craft, martial meaning warlike, right? The word Mars, the god of war, that's where that, that term martial art comes from, study of a war-like skill. That is no longer a good thing for a lot of people in our society. Young, young men, young women are not taught to be resourceful. Uh, people are not taught to carry and use and implement weapons or other things to protect themselves. Now, Time out. Don't go into some diatribe or some thought process about how they or them are doing that. We, the people, are doing that. But not all of us. You and I, people like us, our friends, the people that, that think like us, we don't use and train weapons because weapons are cool. We use and train weapons because that's what separates us from the rest of the animal kingdom. That's what elevates us up out of the dust so that we can conquer and dominate and be the species that we are. It's also what allows you and I, our women, our friends, to be on equal playing fields with people of superior size and sometimes strength. It is a great equalizer, and it is a tool that allows us to come home to our wife and kids, our family. It's powerful stuff. I don't take that lightly. So as such, we get contacted so much. Hey, you'd like to come to a class. I live in XYZ town and I'll say, hey, man, we were just there like a week ago. I won't be back for a year. There are tons of awesome people out there doing things like I do. And side note, most of what I know came because I got to train with awesome instructors. I was able to find them and train with them. But there's tons of people that want training that need to learn safe gun handling skills, that need to learn things like safe storage skills, need to learn things like how to aim, how to load, 
how to use a holster, how to stay out of trouble, things that maybe you have the skills to teach or you are working to have the skills to teach. This workshop is not to teach you how to be an instructor. Now, we do have a full course that we have developed, Carry Trainer Institute uh, for instructors, the Instructor Institute. And the purpose of it is to kind of give people the, the nuts and bolts of what we do here, what we've done the last five to 10 years to build the brand to what it is. You know, this business is not a YouTube channel, although we utilize the YouTube channel. This business is not an Instagram account. This business is us going out and connecting with awesome people like you and training people to be safer and more effective at protecting themselves. That's what we do. So we've taken everything that we've done and I put it into a course that will be available. It's not, it's not uh, free, that course, but I took parts of it. I took parts of it that we found are super valuable. And those, the parts that we took to make this workshop, these three workshops, were based on questions that I get constantly. How do I find students? How do I grow my business on social media? How do I work on things like messaging, branding, sales? So we took and, and, and we compiled the, those lessons from the master course and are going to offer them to you for free. There will be over a thousand people in that course, uh, maybe more right now. I'm just looking at what we have had response on. And people have asked me, like, well, are you just going to train your competition? Look, at the end of the day, it, I can only train, what, 500, maybe a thousand people in a year if I'm a machine, which I'm not training that many people in a year. If I train 100 people in a year and you train 100 people in a year, that's 200 people. We train it a thousand each. That's two thousand people. There's millions of people that are potential clients. So we're offering this to you because I want all of those people out there that are buying guns for the first time to be able to find you. So there's different people that are approaching this challenge in different ways. Uh, our friend uh, Mike from Fieldcraft Survival. What Mike has done is created. American contingency where you can go and jump into training courses. He can't train everybody. There are, there are uh, various people offering different things to try to help. This isn't me trying to mimic anybody. We've been working on this for several years, long before the current world events have taken place. And if you guys have some questions, when I'm done with this thought uh, process here, I'll, I'll take a look at the monitor and see if I can answer a few before we go. But we want to make sure that you have access to this stuff. And it's not so that you can make money, but you can, right? You can be wildly successful as an instructor trainer. But here's the caveat. I said I'm going to tell you who this is for, but I'm also going to tell you who this isn't for. This isn't for people that don't know anything about teaching. Just because you like to shoot guns or are even good at shooting guns doesn't mean that you should be instructing people on shooting guns. Uh, that doesn't mean that you should should or couldn't be working to be a good instructor. Let's, let's be clear. When you go to the range or go to train by yourself or with friends, you're responsible for you and them. When you've got a group of people, you are responsible for whatever happens on that, on that training range or training ground. If you own a gym, jujitsu, combatives gym, if you own a, a range or some type of training program, you're responsible. I think a lot of times people don't think about that. Folks get hurt a lot. That's just one, one way to look at it. But you might be doing it for the wrong reasons. I'm not trying to dissuade anybody. But if you're coming to it because you put the time in, not, not you've shot a couple months or a year, but you put the time in. You've been a student, a legitimate student. Not just showed up to a handful of classes and got some certificates. That's not really even being a student per se. That's being a guy that goes and gets certificates from classes. To be a true student of the craft, the martial art, the way, is to really dig deep. And if you're doing that, this is for you. I don't want to pass on skills to help somebody get business, to get clients that shouldn't be teaching it. Okay? So this is one. Those things that you need to weigh and measure yourself. Now, I've had some idiotic comments uh, as we've shared this. People saying, 
that's dumb. Uh, who are you? Uh, who are you to tell somebody how to market a business? Well, who am I? Uh, we've got a YouTube channel here that gets over 25 million minutes of watch time a month, which doesn't mean I'm a good instructor, but it means that we've got an idea of how to connect with people. We train coast to coast, to Canada, to Mexico, and all points in between. I've been to every one of the lower 48 states in the last 10 years. It's pretty crazy. I've worn out multiple trucks. I buy tires like tissue paper. I get oil changed sometimes every week or two because of how much we travel to train. That's not an accident. And it's not because I'm just so awesome. It's because we've compiled a program that works, that connects with people in a deep and meaningful way beyond some kind of bullshit range experience, beyond some kind of, of entertainment, entertainment, as some would say. No, I'm not a soldier. No, I'm not a cop which doesn't matter in the context of what I'm talking about. But I have been super fortunate to have been trained by some fine military men and women and some fine military, uh, some fine law enforcement men and women. We're talking about passing on skills that go beyond just how to shoot, but how to live. And I'm not talk talking to you about how to develop curriculum, but it is something that we'll do in the big course, talk about developing curriculum and things of that nature. So I don't come to this lightly. We put a ton of work into it. In fact, I've even set up a room here to do the, those workshops where we've got a bunch of extra camera gear and audio gear so that it looks and sounds good and you can get something out of it. People that sign up, we're going to give you a, a link so that you can view it again later. So we're going to give you some challenges on things that you can do, boom, right after the workshop so that you can see improvement in your ability to connect with people and your ability to create kick-ass content. That's one of the things that we'll talk about, creating kick-ass killer content that, that gets people's eyes on you. But you can't fake it. So there's the thing. Who sh who's this for? Who's it not? You can't fake it. You can lie, but until people show up to train with you, you have to have something meaningful to pass on. Or you're coming to this material because you're working towards that goal. But you can't lie because... All it takes is one or two classes and people will say that guy is full of it and you've wasted your time. So do make sure you're putting the energy in. This is not for anybody that's looking to pass on information for nefarious or evil or unrighteous or unethical purposes. We train this stuff because it is how we can protect and promote liberty. And there is no greater liberty than living a long, full life. That's why we do this. I don't teach people how to shoot guns. I teach people how to stay alive so that they can live to be an old man or an old woman, so that they can see grandchildren, maybe great grandchildren, so that they can watch hundreds, thousands of sunrises, so that they can enjoy more Christmases, more Hanukkahs, whatever your, your, your traditions are, your holidays. That's what we're doing. So if you have other reasons, don't show up to the workshop. If you want to come to try to cause problems, we'll just block and ban you. We've got two people that will be on staff looking for those kind of people to push buttons and block and ban because we ain't got time for it. There's too much important work to do. So that's what that workshop's gonna be about. I'm gonna head over and take a look at the comments here, guys. Let's see what you've got. Let me move you slightly. My monitor's here, you're here. Howdy, ghost of the cats here. I don't know what that means, but cool. Uh, it will be interactive. So I'm going to hit that question. Will it be interactive or lecture based? Well, it will be. It, it's going to be a lecture. This isn't me just opening the forum to a bunch of people, uh, but we will have multiple times where we can ask questions. If you sign up, the email that you get is going to say, hey, send me your questions. You know what? We've gotten hundreds of questions. And guess what? Many of them are the same. So I'm not going to sit and read 80 questions that are the same. If you're a good student, which you have to be to be a good instructor, and I'm going to, I'll get harsh with people. If you want to go out and do this kind of work, but you can't read or pay attention, you should have no business teaching people about guns, about things where life and death is in the, in the balance. But uh, we will have people interacting. We'll, we'll take a few times uh, throughout the, the workshops to say, do you have questions? And we'll try to answer them. 
But like I said, chances are there's going to be a lot of the same questions because we have the same challenges as we're trying to grow, right? What else we got? How do you travel the states legally with all these changing firearm laws uh, by paying attention to all the firearm laws? So that's not what we're talking about in this live, but uh, you can travel anywhere legally. Interstate commerce and interstate travel allows you to do that, but you have to follow the laws in the state. So do some research before you travel. Thanks, Johnson. Joe Prego, uh, I appreciate your honesty. Hey, thank you. I dig that, Max. Makes sense. Afternoon to you, too. You, you, Enrique, it's funny to you to write F you to me. What are you, eight? Yes. Yeah, so uh, why is this inappropriate content? Because this is not appropriate content for children. I chose to select that. It's funny sometimes um, the way that we approach things. Let's talk about being a teacher educator. I don't want a 10-year-old to listen to me having this discussion. This is not for 10-year-olds. This is not for, for people that shouldn't listen to this. I'm not trying to protect a child. Lord knows I expose my kids to all kinds of things like, like uh, uh, butchering chickens, hunting, uh, uh, burying dead family members where other people protect their children from those things. That's not what I'm talking about. But this is not a conversation for kids. I choose that when I set the speed up. Cool. Scrolling through. Uh, John Andrews talking about entering a military base with their goods. Well, guess what? That's not New Jersey's fault. If you're entering a military base with a firearm, you're breaking the laws of the military. That has nothing to do with the state laws. You got to know where you're going. Those laws have been in effect since our republic came about. So just to, be, to clarify, this post will stay up here on YouTube for a little bit. So if you have questions, go to carrytrainer.com. On the banner, on the top of the page, you'll see instructor development course. It's a red banner. Click on it. It will ask you for a little bit of simple information. We'll blast you an email. The email will have all the info for these workshops. That email will also tell you that you need to go to Facebook. Some of you might say, well, I don't use Facebook whatever. It's a very convenient platform for what we're doing. If you don't use it, then I'm sorry. But uh, on our private Facebook page, which is if you go just go to Facebook and look up the private Facebook page for Carry Trainer, uh, ask to join it. I will or somebody will take a look. Anybody that's got a private account? Nope. Uh, anybody that looks like uh, maybe they are a child or underage? Nope. Anybody that's got questionable content like uh, stuff that's uh, racial hatred or junk like that, not, not involved. This, in this Facebook group, this private group is meant for personal and, and, and uh, uh, professional development. It's not meant for people to post their junk. It's not, it's not a chat room for us to talk about stupid Facebook shit. I actually delete stuff constantly. Uh, so if you're going to join, this is for serious people that want to grow. And what we're doing is we're giving you access to all the kick-ass stuff that I've found out the hard way uh, through 20-something years in business, through to all the kick-ass stuff that my friends know that I've helped or that have helped me. And we're going to communicate together so that together, see, this is how we change uh, communities. It's how we change our country. We don't change it through comments. We don't change anything through just talking. We change through doing. So this is our way of doing because when we empower you and help you, help yourself so that you can get your message out, so that you can fulfill yourself uh, by doing things that you are wanting to do, task yourself with doing, that you're, you're uh, in that, 
in that, that achievement of personal growth and personal development, you're going to be happier. It's going to make you want to work harder and work more. It means more people are going to have the opportunity to connect with you. Hopefully you make a ton of money doing it, but the big picture is that we have created stronger communities of people that respect each other, of people that respect the Constitution, top to bottom, left to right, every, every bit of it. People that respect the Second Amendment for what it stands for as a bulwark, a bastion, a, a, a brick and iron wall that stands between tyranny and our liberty. It is us, you and I, it's us that are tasked with the sacred duty, the sacred honor to uphold and protect it. Yet too many of us spend too much time jawjacking about conspiracies and COVID and politics. None of it does a thing. Action, action. Now, action without some type of guidance, without some type of thought, without direction, without purpose, without goals can be quite meaningless as well. You can row a boat all over the ocean and never get anywhere. So you have to have a plan on where you're going. And that's really what the broad course that we'll be putting out this month will do. But this workshop is some of that information that I think is really going to help some of you guys. I'm going to take a look at the comments one more time here if you've got any more questions. And then I'm going to pop out. Thanks, Polo. Thank you all. Hey, Fabio. Fabio is a great instructor from Southern California. So long and the short of it is this. If this is something that you feel passionate about, if you have been uh, pushing, trying to grow your training business or to maybe get ideas like I would do it, I, I, I would do it, but I don't know how to do different things. We've got some answers for you. Uh, this is the next phase of my life, which I'm proud to do 20 years, 21, 22 years now. Damn. Holy crap. It's actually almost 24 years. I'm getting old. I'll still beat you arm wrestling. though. I promise. I'm ready to take that and help. Uh, there's only so many students I can teach. There's only so many students that Fabio can teach. He knows it. I know it. It's not about passing on the skills of making holes in paper, nor is it even about just the skills of protecting life, but it is about passing on this mantle where we appreciate and protect our right to do as we please, to worship as we please, to love as we please. And if need be, go to any extent necessary to stop violent criminal predation of our self or loved ones or other innocent life if we so choose to intervene. That's heavy shit. And I'm happy to be part of it. You guys be well. Don't be dickheads. If this video was interesting or you found it uh, thought provoking, go over to carrytrainer.com, click that link. If you are not following us here, I hope that you are. If this is something that is meaningful to you, share it on your Facebook page. If there's other guys or gals that you know that that information could be meaningful or helpful to them, share it. Uh, if you got some comments, go ahead and please put them there. I'll check tomorrow and see if there's any more questions I can answer. Carrytrainer.com. Hey, Drew behind the camera for most all of these videos and definitely the mastermind behind so much of the editing work and making all of these videos look pretty. Tell him thank you whenever you get a chance because we couldn't do it without him. We're joined at the hip. I love that dude. Peace out. Be good. Stop looking at my shoulder. <laughs>